lovers of the fantastic uh, film genre know that you've doubled for Christopher Lee on, mm. on several occasions. Yeah. And uh, I mean, bouncing around now, you nearly drowned in that stunt for Dracula, Prince of Darkness, Under the Ice. Yeah, that, that, was, right? uh, that was a. <laughs> it's something which things go wrong, and you think you've covered everything. There's, um, I don't, you probably know it, you know better than I do, but the, I'm standing on the ice, supposedly, or Chris is standing on the ice, and they fire a gun all the way round. I mean, the ice is about that thick, supposedly, and I mean, a train can go on that sort of thickness, so a bullet would have just skimmed off, but the idea is it's broken it up all round, and the thing tips, and Chris goes into the water underneath. Well, it's on a swivel thing, and the ice was artificial stuff which was made up, to look like ice, and the water underneath came right up to the underside, and it was all on the scaffolding that was being supported. So Chris did his bits when explosions around his feet, and then I come in, and I sort of arranged it. I had an air bottle on it, was only about, I don't know, 10 feet deep. I had an air bottle on the bottom, <coughs> because when it closed, you know, you need some air before they, they were shooting from a distance. So um, I worked it all out, and knew where everything was, I thought, tripping. And, uh, but on action, tipped up, went down. This bloody thing closed behind me, which you're supposed to do. Pitch it all in pitch, pitch black. I haven't thought about that. Complete darkness, yeah. Now I'm looking for this bloody thing down below <laughs> to get an airline and think, Christ, I've had it. Because the water's up to the underside of this sort of ice. There's no air up there. And uh, eventually I found it, saw them lungs bursting, and. Uh, they came along and fished me out, but yeah. a silly little things like that to pull these sort of accidents, and it happens. And, and uh, something you told me last night, which surprised even me, and I thought I knew a lot of, of, of this stuff, was when you were doubling for Christopher Lee on the original The Mummy, um, the, the shotgun blasts in the chest. That was you, wasn't it? That was me, yes. Uh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. right, just for yeah. that little shot there. Yes, it? it was. Um, Chris did the, I did a practice thing for him where he actually smashed through the doors. You've probably all seen it. And he comes in, and then he gets shot at by Peter Cushing. So I think it was all balls of wood and um, toffee glass and all that sort of thing. So really, he shouldn't have hurt himself. So he smashed through that. But then, um, for the shot blast onto the chest, I had a sort of a breastplate underneath all the gear with um, a built-up section, so with explosive charging, and then wired up to a solenoid um, contacts on fingertips. So when I walk forward. I'll take, I press one, which set off one charge, knock it one way, and then I'll take another couple of steps, I'll press the other one, which sort of knocked me back on that one. Yeah. And uh, ended up um, being washed down by all these people in the wardrobe because uh, all the black charge and everything had gone into the suit all over him. That was the best part of it, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you nearly get a raise as a result of your work and the, and the tank at the end of that movie, when, when the mummy sinks into the, the tank? You did it in one take or something? I did that in one take, yes. Yeah. Um, it was a bit awkward because the, the suit itself was made up of, um, I can't think what it was, but it was something which floats. Now you try and get down under the water, or, you know, something that floats, it was impossible. So I ended up with a huge weight in one hand to get to the point where I'm sinking down. And uh, so I can go down with that and just come down with the, um, the scroll, scroll, wasn't it? Yeah, scroll that's scroll of yeah. life yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Down under. So you literally had to pull yourself under for that shot. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. And yeah. the same way as when I was coming out yeah. of the swamp, I was hanging onto this thing, and I had to wait for all this crap on top to close up, so it didn't look like you right. know, something. You just gone down this sort of thing. So you, you were actually in the, when the mummy first emerges. That was you coming out of the, oh, yes, of the tank yeah. too, because I always thought that was Chris Lee. You know, and uh, I never appreciated that you've well, done more stunt work than I know. <laughs> Chris is very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I, I remember seeing something on television, he was showing all his stunts he'd done, and I thought, mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to spill the beans. But, but he, like, he likes to, you know, I know, give him the chance, but I mean, any actor, if I was an actor, I wouldn't put one foot in front of the other if it had to go up six inches, yeah, because yeah. it's, um, that's, like, that's stupid. Yeah. I mean, why put your, you know, self at risk just to get a few bruises or something, yeah. maybe? to say, oh, he did it. Yeah. I mean, he's got the acting part, he's got the money, and you've got yeah. silly buggers like stuntmen coming along, and they'll do it for a fee, and yeah. 
you know, I certainly, if I was an actor, I certainly wouldn't do a stunt. We're already into this kind of lucky box situation now, oh, Eddie, where we're just picking movies out, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, talking about Christopher Lee and, and Hammer, of course, you were telling me an interesting story last night about Devil Ship Pirates, which you, yeah. uh, stuff was going wrong left, right, and centre oh, on that one, yeah? Yeah, it was um, Devil Ship Pirates. You've all seen it, of course, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. There's, um, there was a platform alongside it, strapped to the side of the ship, and the, and there was a cover on top of it on scaffolding, so you got you could have a bit of shelter. And the idea was to they come across the lake and put the tea urn on and tea and wads and all that sort of thing for the people on the ship that are working. And they said, now when it comes on to this platform, don't all rush down at the same time because the platform won't take it. Of course, when the tea and wads turn up. <laughs> I was the first one down. <laughs> and uh, suddenly, only more and more people coming. I noticed that the, there's the side of the ship, and there's this platform down level with the water. That the platform was going that way, and the ship was doing this. And the water was rushing in. I said, It's going down. And I sort of jumped off, and I heard somebody laugh, thinking I panicked. But within half a second, the rest were all piling out. And uh, it was a bit dodgy, really, because the thing went down so that the cover was down level with the water and the people under, underneath still. Yeah. And uh, there was some silly bag of a nurse. She, with a scaffolding, went out into like that, holding things up. She was trying to get through a silly hole that she'd never have got through right. underwater. Right. So I had to push her back under and pull her down through and up, oh. you know, through the... As who it was, I can't remember. 